In Galatians chapter 2, three very significant things happen in the life and ministry of the Apostle Paul. First, he's accepted by the apostles of Jesus Christ. It had been years since Paul's conversion to Christianity, and the Christian Jews were still hesitant to trust. But finally, in verse 7, Paul says of the apostles in Jerusalem, They saw that God had given me the responsibility of preaching the good news to the Gentiles, just as he had given Peter the responsibility of preaching to the Jews. Next, Paul took a bold stand against Peter for shunning the Gentile believers. In verse 14, Paul asked Peter, Since you, a Jew by birth, have discarded the Jewish laws and are living like a Gentile, why are you trying to make these Gentiles obey the Jewish laws you abandoned? Then Paul proclaims the gospel, and he makes this wonderful confession of our mutual need for a Savior. It begins in verse 19. For when I tried to keep the law, I realized I could never earn God's approval. So I died to the law that I might live for God. I've been crucified with Christ. I myself no longer live, but Christ lives in me. So I live my life in the service of the body by trusting in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I am not one of those who treats the grace of God as meaningless, for if we could be saved by keeping the law, then there would be no need for Christ to die. Paul, once a zealous persecutor of the Christian church, was eventually accepted by Jesus' apostles, became bold in his defense of the Gentile Christians, and was committed to the truth of the gospel for all mankind, both Jew and Gentile. All of this because of one life-changing encounter with Jesus Christ. So let me encourage you today to be changed by spending some time with Jesus in God's Word.